Okay. All right. We're back with another sports stream. Yeah. On the eve of the NFL draft, we decided to fill out mock drafts for our friend Stubbs's uh, Just Another Football Show podcast. Yes. The winner will get a fabulous prize. The oh. loser will have to do some sort of punishment that is to be determined. Oh, lovely. Yes. Something torture based. <laughs> okay. Yes. Sports are serious business. Mm-hmm. At least between us. Yeah. But, uh, let's see. I guess we can just get started because these first few picks are probably going to be pretty similar. Yes. John has generously provided a cheat sheet for me. Yes. As, I... well, as well as links to some other mock drafts people are making. Yes. Mostly cribbed from ESPN, but yeah. I went around to various sites but yeah um like nfl mock draft database.com they they have a bunch of mock drafts and they show the first three picks of all of them and they all seem kind of unanimous yeah so, so i think the chicago bears desperately need a quarterback once again uh-huh. uh justin fields has been traded to pittsburgh oh that's and, right uh, yeah he wasn't he was okay for the, i think his first couple seasons oh clearly not a uh I entered Caleb Williams into my email area, Oops. so I don't want Caleb Williams having my mail. You don't want to be Caleb.Williams at gmail.com? <laughs> I guess I could be. Yeah. But yes, uh, everyone is pretty sure the Bears are going to take Caleb Williams from UFC. To, not, to, not UFC, USC. <laughs> yeah. so, so he's kind of like you, unanimously considered the best quarterback then yeah. in the draft? Okay. We've, we've we've had kind of flashy USC QBs in the draft before. Yeah, not a lot of them have panned out. I guess Carson Palmer was pretty all right. Yeah, I think he was the best one out of those. <laughs> mm-hmm. But we had like Matt Leinart. Yeah, wasn't um, Sam Darnold also a UFC? USC. Oh, I keep saying I UFC. Yeah, UFC. You yes. fought Conor McGregor. Mm-hmm. And uh, Matt Barkley, I think, was yes, another one. Yes, Barkley. Yeah. I forgot about him. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I think most people did. Yes. There were quite a few mats in the NFL for a while. Yeah. They all kind of ran together. Uh, a few people I've seen have uh, the Washington Commanders taking Drake May from North Carolina, but most people uh-huh. have been picking up Jaden Daniels from LSU. Seems to be the consensus number two. Yeah. And uh, I see a lot of the drafts here, the Patriots have the third pick. Mm-hmm. I, know, I know there was speculation that they would trade up. Is that like an official thing now that they traded up to the third pick? I guess so, yeah. Because it seems like they have the third pick in the majority of these yeah. mocks. I think, yeah, I think they do have the third pick officially. Okay. I think if, if you see mocks without them having third pick, it's people guessing they're trading down. Yeah. Well, the, the other option I've seen is Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota also needs a quarterback, so that's one team mm-hmm. that could trade up. But New England also needs a quarterback. So. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people have them staying at three and taking Drake May. Or a few people had J.J. McCarthy. Uh, I guess he's kind of risen in the past couple of weeks, but I think I think they'll probably stick with Drake May. Mm-hmm. And then Arizona. A lot of – I've seen a lot of speculation that Arizona will trade back to a team that needs a quarterback like oh. the Giants or the Vikings or the Broncos. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is possible, especially if like it's the Giants, they wouldn't trade back very far. They could still get a pretty good player, uh, but they do need a wide receiver, and there are some very good wide receivers. Yeah, here. I guess uh, a lot of people like Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah, that's that's who I'm expecting. Okay. I think if they stay here, they get Harrison Jr. If they like slip back, I think the Chargers probably take Harrison Jr. I think yeah. they also need a wide receiver. Let's see. Sometimes this database has trouble loading. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I imagine a lot of people are like hitting it hard as they get their <laughs> yeah. last minute bets in. Yeah. I'm not gonna like try to predict any trades because when I've tried to do that before, I just make my mock draft much worse and this one's already going to be pretty bad so. <laughs> yeah. but if you feel like predicting any trades go for it but I, I'll have 
comparison to the Cardinals. Okay. I think that'd be fun. The Cardinals have, you know, had like elite receivers in the past, and I think Kyler Murray could use another friend. Mm-hmm. Okay, so in the fifth pick's L.A. Yes. And uh, for your needs, you had a receiver, tackle, and cornerback. You think yeah. they'll also go for a skill position? I, th- I think probably. I think they'll definitely grab Harrison if he's there. If he falls, but I also think okay. um, Malik Neighbors is also rated very highly. Okay. So I think they'd be happy with either of them. Okay, and then looks like Malik Neighbors, Romo Dunze from Washington. Mm-hmm. Then another LSU yeah. player from Brian Thomas Jr. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go with, with Malik Neighbors. Okay. Okay, and then we got the Giants, and they apparently need both a QB and a receiver. Yeah, I know they're they're one of the teams people think might trade up trade with up, New yeah. England or Arizona. Okay, interesting. I think I might give them the number four quarterback. I think. Let's see. Oops. JJ McCarthy from oh. Michigan. Oh, I see. Okay. National champion. <laughs> yeah. Coach for Jim Harbaugh. Mm-hmm. Man, what if the Chargers pick McCarthy? I mean, they don't need a quarterback, <laughs> but if they, they want a reunion, yeah, I don't think that'll happen. Jim Harbaugh does not strike me as a sentimental man. <laughs> okay. Tennessee. Oh. Did you put your email in again? Yeah. No, I accidentally put JJ McCarthy in the middle of Malik Neighbors at five. Ah. Which probably isn't valid. Oh, okay, so the Titans next. Yeah, they need a lineman probably, like OT and DT. Or okay. Looking around. So we might, this might be your first lineman pick then. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, okay, I see. OTDT. Let's see. Who does ESPN have as their top line? It looks like Joe Alt from, yeah, Notre, from Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah, okay. he's, he's, I think, easily the top rated line. And then at, at DT, they have Byron Murphy, the second. Yes. Okay. So basically, we just got a yeah. <laughs> pick. I think. I think alt is rated more highly yeah, it's overall, true, so yeah. I'm sort of leaning in that direction. Yeah, okay. Seems like a good slot for him. All right. <clears throat> in Atlanta, mm-hmm. cornerback edge. Okay, they just need defense then. Yeah, I know this is supposed to be a really deep year for corners. Oh, okay. I might look at one. Who's one. under center for Atlanta? Oh, God. <laughs> I know I know they just signed Matt Ryan to a one day deal and had him retire. Oh really? Oh. Oh god, I forgot. It's Kirk Cousins. Oh nice, that's right. Okay. So Cousins isn't in Minnesota anymore. Yeah, that's, that's why the Vikings. Oh, that's why they have him listed as needing a QB. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would explain it. Yeah, they Let's see. Go with Quinian Marshall or Terry and Arnold or the the two top corners. What else do they need? A uh, pass rusher or a defensive tackle. Quinn Mitchell and Terry and Arnold. Edge, let's see. Dallas Turner from Alabama. Yeah, Dallas Turner might be a good fit. I mean, He's like seventh overall, apparently. Yeah. That might be who I go with in that case. Though I guess I guess I'm not sure the level of need between those positions yeah. is. But you did mention corner might be deep. Yeah. In this draft. Let's see. Highest yeah. defensive tackles: Byron Murphy of 14. Yeah. 
they would move later. If they wanted to trade back, they might go corner DT, but I think Dallas Turner is probably a good good fit here. Yeah, I think that's who I'm gonna go with. Alright. I accidentally moved my cheat sheet to the other screen. Oh. Okay, so the Bears have picked number nine too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't bother listing their non quarterback needs for pick one overall because everyone knows they're yeah. taking a But yeah, they also need wide receiver, defensive tackle, edge rusher. Okay. Do you like the idea of them grabbing a wide receiver to pair with uh, their new quarterback? Yeah. Caleb. But so let's see. Be available around number nine. Yeah, I haven't. Oh, Roma Dunze. Yeah, I haven't taken any receivers other than Harrison yet. Oh, but no, Malik Neighbors as well. Yeah. Okay. I have Romo Dunze from Washington. Okay. The, 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 those, they'd be two Pac-12 players, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much chemistry they currently have. But yeah. Uh, the highest SC receiver is Brendan Rice. Yeah. But he's also he's like, 81st overall, so yeah, they probably they wouldn't probably spend a first round. Try to hit, get him later if they wanted. Okay, Romo Dunze is 8th overall. Mm-hmm. So that that would definitely make sense. Let's see. Wide receiver, defensive tackle, and edge. Okay. Yeah. Latu Latu, I think, would maybe be the pick if they go defense here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Edge rusher. Yeah, he's the second killer. highest edge rusher. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Do they split one offense, one defense, or they try to set up a good yeah. wide receiver quarterback tandem? Hmm. Has there been a trend in one way or the other in situations like this? Uh, I feel like I've seen more one of each than like quarterback wide receiver. Okay. But I know like quarterback wide receiver has happened a few times in the past few, mm-hmm. few years. Okay. But yeah, two first round picks. Yeah. At least for ESPN, Odunze is ranked higher than. Yeah. Top edge rusher defensive tackle options. Let's see if uh, if anybody below them has any wide receiver needs. Okay, yeah, the Jets do, but then doesn't seem like the next few picks do. Yeah. So I guess it depends on like the wide receiver depth. Mm-hmm. Someone could potentially trade up. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Brian Thomas Jr. at 24th overall. Hmm. I'll go with... I think I'll go with Latu Latu. Okay. I feel like I like the Bears with a big defensive guy. They do like their pass rushers. I'll go with Romo Dunze. Okay. All right, uh, Jets. They could use a tackle, but they could also use a receiver. And I think yeah. they want someone to make sure Aaron Rodgers actually shows up to games. So I'll give them a doomsday. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Let's see. Who are the other big offensive linemen in the first round? One of them's a Beaver. Oh, okay. But he's, I think, like the fifth rated. Uh, Olumu Yiwa, the Shanu from Penn State. It's like the highest unpicked for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the beaver's name? Uh, Taliese Fuanga. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, he's the, oh, uh, the top player on the second page at 26. Okay. But there's a few linemen in front of yeah. him as well. I think he's the fifth overall tackle. Let's see. Tackle, receiver, tight end. I don't know how many tight ends I've seen drafted yeah, in the first I, I round. Yeah, I don't know how high a lot of the tight ends are rated this time around. Georgia's Brock Burris is the highest. Oh, and Jeff just wants to say for the record to fuck 
the Patriots. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can get behind that. <laughs> It'd be nice if they'd have a few losing seasons to start out, the post-Belichick era. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely rebuilding right now. Mm-hmm. The one thing I do appreciate Belichick doing is uh, getting around the Rooney rule in a positive way. Yeah. And, nice. and mandating that his... Uh, his successor would be that. what what was he in his organization it was some kind of yeah position coach i think <clears throat> he was like yeah linebackers coach, okay that sounds right he was a linebacker when he was in the pros uh-huh be cool yeah I think I'll oh, one thing to know about um, ESPN's rating they have uh, Troy Fatano listed as the uh, number one overall guard he also plays offensive tackle but people think he might move inside depending on who drafts him oh okay so like I think he's also kind of like one of the top rated tackles. The other lists I saw had him rated as a tackle. Okay. Do you think the Jets might still pick him in that case? I think as high as the Jets are, maybe. Hmm. But I don't I, I think don't I'll know. go with Fashanu just Okay. Say I'm gonna copy and paste his name. Yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> Okay. Have you made your pick? Oh, yeah. I went with Odunze. Okay. Oh, for the Jets? For the Jets, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. All right. The Vikings. Vikings. Is this their first pick? Yeah, they haven't picked yet. Unless they they trade up. They trade up. Which I think would say is fairly possible to grab Arizona's pick or New England's Mm -hmm. pick. QB2. Defensive tackle or guard. Yeah. All right. I, I can see the Vikings taking uh, Troy F- Fatanu. Yeah. I think I like... I might do one of the quarterbacks here. Yeah. I like the idea of Bo Nix to Denver. One pick after this. Oh, okay. But I feel Minnesota might also grab him. I'll do next to the Vikings. Oregon's quarterback. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, Bo Nix. Okay. Oh, and yeah, the Broncos pick him right after. Yeah, they also need a quarterback for reasons. Unless they are, you know, ride or die for Zach Wilson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know Brandon Pern is probably hoping they pick oh, a quarterback. Yeah. They've had such great luck with quarterbacks named Wilson. I, I think Pern has specifically predicted they'll take uh, Michael Penix Jr. Yeah. Which I think would be the... Uh, the I think he's the next top best quarterback, quarterback if Nick Smith yeah. the Vikings. Let's see... Uh, QB, tackle, cornerback. Okay. And the Raiders have a QB need as well. Yeah. Yeah. I I think I'll go with Perna and go with Penix. Okay. I think Penix and Nix are both very close, especially since Penix got the Huskies to the... Yeah. Championship game. Okay, and then the Raiders. Yeah. I think they'll also go QB. I don't know. I think the, there's a bit of a drop off in quarterbacks okay. after the top six. Or, yeah. yeah. Or top six, yeah. The Rattlers rate is a little lower, and he's like the next top one. Okay. Tackle like and corner. Third. Let's see here. Yeah. I might go with tackle. Yeah. 
the no. corner is good, and I don't have one off the board yet. Oh yeah, I don't think I do either. Quinn Mitchell or Terry and Arnold. I was looking for team needs, and uh, I kept looking for the Oakland Raiders. I'm still not used <laughs> to that move. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I think I'll go corner for the Raiders. Quinn Mitchell from <laughs> Toledo. I don't think you see a Toledo player going high that often. But Yeah. What, what uh, conference is that? I want to say the Mac, but that might be wrong. It might be Sunbelt. Okay. Oh, Mac feels better. Toledo's in Ohio. And Ohio feels like Mac territory. Okay. I don't know. The mid majors have gotten so shuffled up in all the reorganization. <laughs> all right. New Orleans. New Orleans. Offense attack. Defense attack. Okay, so the line of scrimmage looks like yeah. Oh, and quarterback, I guess. They do they still have Derek Carr? I don't think so. Okay. Or if they do, they might be in the process of moving on. Okay. I don't think I've had anybody take Byron Murphy the second yet. Okay. From Texas, I might go with that. I haven't had anybody take a defensive lineman yet. I think I might go with uh, Fashano. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, from Penn State, yeah. Yeah, the second overall rated. Yeah. Tackle. Cool. Let's see if I can copy and paste this correctly. <laughs> <clears throat> then the Colts. Okay, tight end corner safety. Yeah, I do. I think I like uh, Bowers from Georgia here. Oh, okay, I think a tight end would be a good spot here for the Colts. Oh yeah, that kind of playmaker. I guess the Colts don't have uh, Matt Ryan anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got the Seahawks at 16. Yeah. Let's see. They have guard, edge, and corner. The first pick without Pete Carroll. Yeah. So it's just a. Uh, what's the GM's name? Oh, gosh. I clicked on something. Yeah. Is it John Sch Schneider? Schneider, yeah. Did engineer the Russell Wilson trade. Yeah, that, that seemed to work out pretty well. As yeah. as players can bounce back. Hard edge. Corner. I think I might go Troy Fatano here. He feels like the kind of player the Seahawks like. He has that flexibility on the line. Mm -hmm. And they're already always shuffling offensive linemen around. That's true, yeah. I might go with that. I'm just going to scroll to make sure I didn't pick him already. Oh, sure. <laughs> It's always a risk. I think I've done that in Stubbs mock drafts before. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, and the, he did, won't have to move far. Yeah. From Washington. Always okay. convenient. All right. The Jags. The Jaguars. Corner, receiver, defensive tackle. Yeah. So they need a defensive help. Yeah. I might do another corner here, I think. Terry and Arnold is very Yeah, good. I think he's uh, probably should be picked higher. Yeah. They, the Jaguars desperately need secondary help. <laughs> yeah. All right, Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. uh, receiver, defensive tackle, running back. Who is left at wide receiver for me? I haven't. 
the Thomas. Yeah, I'm here. playing Thomas Jr. I, can, I can see them maybe grabbing a weapon for uh, yeah, Joe Burrow. Burrow. Yeah. yeah, they were a little anemic offensively last season. I don't have Byron Murphy off the board yet. I might pick that here. But the Bengals could use a big playmaking wide receiver. Is that Brian Thomas there? Or Xavier Weber? Or someone else? I'll go with Brian Thomas. Yeah. I think I will go with Murphy. I think I'll just take like the best players I can get. Cool. Builds a need. The Rams. Okay. Corner edge tackle. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like Cooper Dijon is the highest corner left for me. Mm -hmm. From Iowa. Yeah. Hey, Iowa cool. guys. Edge and guard. Gary Verse from Florida State. Pick at 16. Layatu Latu. Yeah, I had him going earlier, but he would be a good fit there. I don't think I've picked him yet. Yeah. I think I might give them an edge rush, but I'll go with Jared Verse. Okay. I'll go with my odd two. Okay, Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. Receiver corner. Definitely a team that does not need a quarterback. They <laughs> they picked up a few in the offseason. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Be a dramatic training camp. <laughs> Receiver center. I assume that's what that is. Yeah. In corner. See, should be center. Okay. I think what tackles are still available for me? A lot. Amarius Mims, JC Latham. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I do have a center at 18 in mm -hmm. Graham Barton. Yeah. I'll go with Mims. Okay. I'll just take the best offensive lineman. I think. I don't just don't see centers going that high usually. Yeah. Okay. Miami. Hot start last year, but yeah. they couldn't close it out. Yeah. Let's see what do they have we here. Got defensive tackle, tight end, offensive tackle. Okay. Okay, so they do they give Tua another weapon or do they yeah. try and Shore up a line of scrimmage. Let's see, we have Jerzon Newton from Illinois, mm -hmm. 21st for defensive tackle. I might go with that. Yeah. Putting him on the wrong team. There we go. And Dolphins. All right, Philadelphia. Yeah, I like I like a corner here. I think. Okay. Cooper Dijon. This feels like a good landing spot for him. The Iowa guy. Minnesota yep, again. Minnesota's second pick. 
Let's see what, what would I have to do. Yeah, I had them can... grab a quarterback. I had Bo Nix. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. So DT and I think guard. Yes. Um, this would be a good spot for Fatano if he's left this far, but I had him going earlier. Let me see. I had, yeah, I had him going to Seattle. Yeah. It just feels like such a Seattle pick. Mm -hmm. Which means they're absolutely just going to trade Yeah, they're going to trade it. Like <laughs> a safety and a long snapper or something. <laughs> DTs left that I would pick. So. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go to the second page. Yeah. don't but, see any yeah, tackles or guards. Yeah. Okay, looks like the next one was a defensive tackle, Braden Fisk from Florida State. I don't see any guards. Hmm. Yeah, I might just look for like a receiver or an offensive lineman. Okay. Help that mix down something going forward. Or you could just like pick up pass rusher. You could never go wrong with just another pass rusher. Mm -hmm. But this also feels like a pick they might package with their twelfth overall if they want to move up and get a higher mm -hmm. quarterback. Hmm. This is a tough one. Yeah. My guards at all. Offensive guard doesn't seem to be too deep. Yeah. I think I I think I might go with a tackle. Okay. It's a pretty deep class and line depth is always appreciated. But JC Latham is the next one off the list for me. So is that offensive or defense? Offense. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I don't like any of the players they could use to address one of the needs or injury. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, Dallas. Yeah. What's going to get them over the December hump? Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Need a receiver. Could get Xavier Leggett. This feels right. Offensive early. or defensive tackle. Yeah. Okay. There are a couple good tackles available now. Yep. So. We have the, the Beaver, mm -hmm. Taliese Fuago. Yeah. I was thinking maybe him or maybe. Uh, who's the wide receiver up? Uh, Xavier Legette. Yeah. yeah. They're both pretty close in the overall ranking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in between an Alabama player named Kool Aid McKinstry. Yeah, Kool Aid McKinstry. Easily the best name in the draft class. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably going to put him somewhere in yeah. this list. If, he's, if I haven't picked him by the time like, the Chiefs roll around, I might just slot him in at 32. <laughs> Kool-Aid needs to be a first round pick. Let's see. He might he might be the next corner up. Yeah, yeah I think I might go receiver for the Cowboys. Yeah. Legit. Check to see if I spelled that right. Did I ever pick Brian Thomas? If I didn't pick Brian Thomas, I'll get him here. 
let's see. Uh, I think I picked Brian yeah. Thomas at some point. I, I, I had I picked him for Cincy. Yeah. I probably should have picked him earlier then, but anyway. <laughs> I'll give him to the Cowboys. My mistake. Okay, Green Bay. Green Bay. Okay. I think this is where I'll put uh, our Oregon State player. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I see they need tackle a there. Tackle. He can play with um, what, what's your QB's name? Jordan. Jordan Love. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Apparently he's uh, pretty good. Yep. Packers seem to do that well. Just move yeah. from quarterback to quarterback. They have a knack for QB development. Apparently, mm -hmm. uh, Brandon Perna had a video on that. Yeah. Tell us. Tampa. Tampa, let's see. Tampa. Receiver, center, tack tackle. Mm -hmm. This might be a good spot for Graham Barton. Late in the first, he was rated pretty high. Okay. Just pick the oh, the center, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, he is real. Ranked pretty high. I, I rarely see centers that high, but it is a necessary position. Yeah. All right, Arizona. Receiver, receiver corner and edge. Yeah, I gave them a receiver. They had a, a pick earlier, or I'm like... Oh, that's right. Let me see what I did. Or... No, it was like four. Yeah, I gave them Harrison Jr. Oh, that's right. That's right there. Unless they trade back, but... I guess we could give him Kool Aid. Yeah, this might be a good spot for Kool Aid. <laughs> I do want to make sure Kool Aid gets right. I don't Let's think I. Nate Wiggins. I haven't had shown up, and he's also rated around here. Yeah. There are some pretty highly ranked edge rushers still sitting yeah. around. Chop Robinson, I think, would be the next one for me. I had Verse going to. The Rams at 19. Okay. I don't know if I've picked verse yet. Yeah. This might be a good fit for them. Yeah. I might. But I think I'll do Kool-Aid to the Cardinals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to learn. I have to assume that's a nickname and not a given name. <laughs> but I need to learn the source. Yeah. Does he just, like, burst through walls? <laughs> If he was an edge rusher, that would make a lot yeah, more sense. Yeah, that would make, yeah. But he's a corner, which, you know, you think speed and, like, reactions and quick hands. Yeah, I think I'll go with Kool-Aid here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also need a wide receiver, also need a corner or a safety. They need secondary help. I'll stick with corners and give the Bills Nate Wiggins. <clears throat> Boom, Clemson. Okay. Let's see. You, you mean for the Bills? Yeah, for the okay. Bills. Okay, I see. Okay, he's actually ranked higher mm -hmm. than Kool-Aid. I might switch him just to mix things up. Sure. <laughs> okay. And then Detroit. Yeah. More defensive health, edge rusher, defensive tackle, safety. Okay. I don't, I don't have any safeties off the board yet, but I think the, the highest safety is like projected of the second yeah. rounder. Still have a few edge rushers. Yeah, I think I'll probably go for a pass rusher here. Chop Robinson or Jared Verse. Yeah. Let's see if I've taken Jared Verse yet. I'll go with Chop. This is my highest edge rusher left. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. I'll go with Jared since mm -hmm. he was my highest ed ed rusher. All right. Baltimore. Ed rusher, cornerback, offensive guard. Okay. I think I'll also give them an edge rusher. I think Darius Robinson. I'll, I'll put Chop up. here. Yeah. Niners. Yeah, San Fran. What do they have to do to beat the Kansas City Chiefs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I have their needs as, like, you know, offensive tackle and wide receiver are on there, but I feel like they need to do something to be able to, like, deal with <laughs> Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and the rest of mm -hmm. Kansas City. Yeah. So, <laughs> they've lost the Super Bowl twice with them now. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll get to see who the top defensive players I haven't given. Yeah. Is there any safeties in the... I don't think there are any projected in the first yeah. round that they could reach. Like, I think the top ones, like, there have been, like, 50 overall. I don't know how flexible secondary positions are. Yeah, I don't think you can shift as easily. Especially, like, it's strong safety and free safety is already a pretty different yeah. position. also tricky because like at the end of the first round is where you see just like a ton of trade yeah so i might also might just look to see like if there's like a good edge rusher or a good dt available So I guess they could also try to grab like a wide receiver, try to keep up with Kansas City scoring. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, who is the best OTs and wide receivers they have? It would be Leggett, which might be a good pick. Yeah, I, I had him go into Dallas yeah. earlier. And then offensive tackle. Tyler Guyton. Yeah. It's not too bad. You know what? I'll go. I'll go legit. Give them an offensive weapon. I think of the Niners as such a defensive team. They probably... They need to give Brock Purdy a weapon. <laughs> yeah. Go Tyler Guyton. Okay. And the Chiefs. They don't need anything. <laughs> could be the first team to win three Super Bowls in a row. Let's see. Uh, offensive tackle, wide receiver, defensive tackle. There was a tight end rated around here. I might consider that because I feel like there's been a lot of Travis Kelsey retirement speculation. Oh, really? Just because I guess I don't know how up there he's getting, but you know, tight ends do get banged up quite a bit mm -hmm. and have kind of a short shelf life. Not like RB short. Plus, you know, he's got an extremely rich girlfriend. That <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hang out on her private plane. I think there's apparently a few songs about him on the new album. Oh, good. Uh, I haven't given it a listen yet. It's like a Tom Brady Giselle situation yeah. where the spouse is much yeah. <laughs> wealthier. Let's see. The top wide receiver would be Adonai Mitchell, Texas. Okay, yeah. 29. As well as DT. I haven't. Give out a ton of DT. Brady, of course, could be the next one. Yeah. Tight end DT. Tyler Guyton. But, you know, the Chiefs, I think, more than any other team, can afford to be pretty flexible mm -hmm. here. Just take the best player they think is available. 
I'll do Adonine Mitchell. I was I leaning like towards that too. And you know, since I went Kool Aid at number 27, I have a fondness for cool names. Okay, and tiebreakers. <laughs> oh, okay. For quarterbacks, I can just count. It's six, I think. But the first Let's one. Oh yeah, probably six. Yeah. yeah, I think we both have. You know, How many trades Daniels in the first there? round? Well, the Seahawks have one first round pick, yeah. so that's one trade. <laughs> Seahawks, Patriots, maybe. Yeah, I could see. Cardinals. I could see somebody trading up for. Uh, yeah. I could see some of the later round teams like the Chiefs <laughs> trading back. Maybe the Niners. Maybe. Buffalo will. Buffalo feels like they probably want to maybe even move up. I'll say five. I don't know how many first round trades there usually are in a year, so I don't know what to compare it to. I'll go with six to okay. match my QB answer. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, that's our mock draft. Yes. This is exactly how the first round will go. Yes. You heard her here first. Put all well, your DraftKings money or FanDuel or whatever the betting places are now. Well, I appreciate having extra incentive to watch the draft now that I actually have the stakes. Yeah. We just need to figure out what those stakes actually are. They <laughs> yeah. could be literal stakes. <laughs> oh, my. From the winner Omaha? gets, like, a tasty steak. The loser gets vampire steak. Oh, oh, dear. <laughs> That would be on theme. Okay. That's clever. All right. Well, that was fun. Yeah. I like doing the sports streams. Yes. I don't know what the next one will be. Yeah. But... We need to brainstorm more uh, sports mm -hmm. streams. I enjoy them. I know there's there's one sort of sports stream I want to do late in the summer, but that's a ways away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But we'll figure out something before then. <laughs> All right. We'll be back on Friday with uh, Yakuza. Yes, finally. Yeah, getting back to that. Those orphans have been in danger. For yes, almost that's two true. Weeks yeah, they they've been spent almost two weeks with the yeah. bulldozed orphanage. Just like in front of that bulldozer, <laughs> Mine just slapping yeah. the hell out of all of them. Yeah, probably only like two or three more streams to go. Oh, wow. I think. Unless I go nuts doing like yeah. the uh, Honest Living Association. Yeah, it or... depends on how many sub stories. I haven't have to do. helped out my hostess in quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. yeah that too but yeah we'll uh see you friday we'll be back